let's pull in something from a location that there actually is data. So I'm going to go to File, Add Location on a New Model, and I'm just going to go to Denver, Colorado. Looks good. I don't know Denver very well, but yeah, let's let's look at uh, Pioneer Pipe. I'm going to set geolocation. Same information as show up here. I'm going to add context. And as I zoom out here, I'm going to turn off my 3D site because I just want to bring a flat site with 3D buildings is what I'm interested in right here. But if you look, look, at, look what's happening over here. Look what's happening down here. We got all this additional data and information. Our buildings aren't just boxes. We can tell we have additional stuff going on. So I'm going to go ahead and import that. I did a big import there. There's a whole lot of stuff. And look at all those buildings coming in. All right, let's go ahead and close that and then take a look at what we got. Whoops, ended up inside a building. All right, so those buildings, you can see much more information. So these buildings are all showing up different heights, which leads me to believe they're probably based on more information than what I had before. I also have some details on the top. So at some point, somehow additional modeling information showed up here. Uh, so just kind of a little more detail and context models. They're not, they're not high detail. They're not, you know, this is not a, a, a renderable image, but it is much more information, much more accurate. So if I wanted to do something like generate my shadows or something on where I'm building, this would give me a much more realistic uh, look at how that is going to impact my model because the heights are correct.